right, welcome back to the channel. I just got done making this black buffalo horn nut for this build I'm doing. And I'm gonna shift gears. This is nothing novel, or when you see it, does any woodworker technically need to know how to make what I'm about to make? Maybe just to inspire to actually do it. Should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna make a simple box to put my koozies. When sawdust is not flying everywhere, my wife and I come out here sometime to entertain people and uh, have a TV out here, but loose koozies kind of suck. So I'm just gonna make a simple box that I can attach to the wall and people can take them, leave them as they need them. But maybe I should at least have one cool tip that maybe you hadn't thought about. My wife thought I was crazy when I bought casters, but soon after they were attached to this couch, all that craziness went away out of the convenience of rolling our garage couch when it's nice out into the driveway or what have you. It's super cool. So if you haven't thought about this, don't throw that couch away. Put it on casters. All right. Anyway, so I just want to take the time to recognize how lucky I am and we are as a building community that we have an outlet to be creative and make things. I never want to lose sight of that. So that's why I'm making this today. It's in the spirit of just making something better or functional that wasn't here before for these koozies. Now I'm gonna make this box for basically twice as many koozies as I have available right now. Basically this back plate is just gonna be bigger cause we're gonna screw it right into the wall. Just do it real crude, which is fine by me. Because there's no really requirements for structural integrity with a bunch of these little foam koozies. Personally, one of my favorites. I think I'm just gonna put a little glue and and pin it up. Simple, easy, whatever. But it's gonna be real nice. And it took, what, 10 minutes? So yeah, get creative, folks. I'm still building a guitar right now, and so should you. Yeah.